excited to chat with you again this week. So this week we are going to be talking about our art technique of the month. And so we are going to be exploring calend make making a calendar or building your own calendar. So why are we talking about that this month? As we continue exploring Mesoamerica and Central America, we're going to be discussing calendar making because of the Mayan calendar. So the Maya made important discoveries in so many areas from science to cosmology, which enabled them to really create an incredibly complex calendar system. So Mayan astronomers worked out that there were 81 lunar months and that con constituted about 2,392 days, if you can believe that. So that puts their lunar month at about 29.5 days. And that's almost exactly the same estimation that we have now in modern day. So the Maya also studied Venus and Jupiter, Mars and Mercury, and record they were also able to figure out that planets passed by each other in the sky. They were way ahead of any European counterparts. Out of all the ancient Americas, the Maya invented the most advanced form of writing known as glyphs. So glyphs are used to describe or represent a word, sound, or syllable through pictures or symbols. So history has really suggested that the Maya used around 700 different glyphs. That's about 80% of, about 80 of that language is also still understood today. So these glyphs were used to document and track the Mayan calendar. So recent research has shown that Mayan glyphs can be dated all the way back to the third century BC. So that's well within the time period that we are exploring this month. So again, we are exploring from like 8,000 BC to 2000 BC. So this is within our time frame. So the Maya were the creators of writing in Mesoamerica and one of only three known ancient civilizations where writing really grew up autonomously. The other ones are China, which we will get to later, and Mesopotamia, which we talked about last month. So I won't go into all the really complex specifics of the Mayan calendar, uh, but if you would like to learn more about that, I will drop a link below with, to a more detailed uh, exploration of what was involved in the creation and structuring of the Mayan calendar. So the reason that the mind calendar is our art technique of the month is one of the big ways that art exists and changes is through its capacity to really document our lives. We're getting ready to move into autumn. We're already there in the Northern Hemisphere. And let's take a moment to really think on the process of how we could create our own calendars. So if you were to create your own calendar, what would you notice? What would mark the seasons for you? How would you divide out your own year? Um, some options for that could be, you know, what animals do you see at different seasons? Um, what do you like to do in each of those seasons? Do you really feel like your life moves in weeks and so you'd rather have it be 52 weeks and each week is special rather than having months? You can think about that. So there's so many options, but what would it feel like for you? What could you experiment with if you created your own calendar and then how would that shape your art practice if you had your own calendar? I look forward to hearing your concepts and ideas with this. I hope that you'll drop some comments below and let me know what you explored. And I am so grateful to be a part of your life. Thanks for being here.